Let's talk about Donald Trump's failed immigration policies. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. As it becomes more and more certain that Joseph Biden is going to be our next president, we can pause and reflect back on the last four years that were the hellhole created by Donald Trump, Jeffrey Sessions, William Barr, Stephen Miller, and the rest of the people that hated immigrants running uh, the executive branch for the last four years. Donald Trump is a complete and utter failure when it comes to immigration. He got nothing passed through Congress, and that's not just true in immigration. He just was very ineffective as a president. Most of the trouble that he caused in immigration was done through executive order, which can all be undone by the new president uh, in January of 2021. So uh, the Muslim ban, the travel ban, all those things are going to go away. Donald Trump's wall, which he said that the Mexicans were going to pay for, has not been built. It never was built. It never was going to be built. The only thing that happened was that his crooked friends like Steve Bannon took advantage of a bunch of suckers who thought that they could help fund the wall. The wall is no further along than it was four years ago. Mexico sure as hell didn't pay for it. And the border security that Donald Trump claimed to crave uh, is almost exactly where it was just four years ago. Really, the only thing he has succeeded in is separating 600 children from their parents. Um, we all remember um, very vividly the uh, kids in cages, the acts of President Trump and his Department of Homeland Security to uh, separate families at the border, to illegally prevent them from filing valid asylum claims and um, not following U.S. law or international law. Donald Trump will be viewed as a stain on this country. Those that supported him will have to answer for their xenophobic and uh, hate-filled uh, approach to immigrants. Um, it's really appalling what he's done these last four years, but the good thing is that because he was such an incompetent leader and because he couldn't get anything passed through Congress when it came through immigration, the vast majority of it was just done by executive order, and that can all be done very quickly. Now, some of the regulations uh, regarding asylum and regarding the public charge rule, that's going to take a little bit uh, more time to dismantle. But I'm sure uh, President-elect uh, Biden, boy, that sounds good, President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris are already working on surrounding people, surrounding them with people who know how immigration should work. And listen, life wasn't great for immigrants under President Obama. We didn't call him the deporter-in-chief for nothing. But obviously, it was, a, it was a hell of a lot better, much, much better than the daily assault that President Trump the Department of Homeland Security, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and USCIS waged against immigrants each and every day. We're looking forward to filing less lawsuits. We're looking forward to uh, being able to focus more on actual immigration. And I think that when we look back at the immigration days of President Trump, that um, we're all going to realize that he was a big blowhard who was an ineffectual leader who might be going to jail himself, who should go to jail. Um, and who only was able to stave off criminal prosecution because he was the sitting president. Now that those protections are going away, it should be interesting to see what the man who rails against criminals um, does himself when he's facing the criminal charges that will inevitably befall him. I think there are prosecutors waiting in federal and state courts uh, in New York getting ready to prosecute him and his family for all their crimes. But the purpose of this video is just to talk about what a loser he is when it comes to immigration and that 50 years from now, people are going to look back at the racism and the hatred and the vilification of immigrants by Donald Trump and by Stephen Miller and by Steve Bannon that they're going to look at this with disdain and they're going to say this was one of the dying last gasps of white supremacy. We can't forget the fact that millions and millions of people voted for Donald Trump. He got a lot more votes than uh, the pundits and the prognosticators had predicted. So there's definitely some love in America for this vile, ban uh, vile brand of hatred. Um, so we will bid Mr. Trump farewell. Mike Pence, you can go with him. And we will see good days ahead for immigration as we move into this new presidency in this new era. If you have any questions about this or want to share your opinion, give us a call, 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. 
Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. And if you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social and that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get updates whenever we make videos just like this one. Finally, be sure to find us on Instagram. Our account there is at hackinglawpractice.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.